Well, there's something very amiss about this hurricane season. Now, don't get me wrong, it's pretty good. It's been very silent. And it started out that way. This was the first season where we haven't had a preseason storm in seven years, and it has continued to be somewhat of a sleeper out there. But as we head through September and October, the season usually peaks in early September, and that's when we get 90% of all the storms after August. But here we are almost through the middle of portions of August, and we haven't had a single system. In fact, up until this point, we haven't had many systems at all. In fact, these are very short-lived, three tropical storms, barely even holding uh, two days worth of time with Alex. And since Alex, on July 3rd, there hasn't been a single so storm since then in the Atlantic. This has been the longest pause in 23 years from then till now, and I'm really not seeing a whole lot. But when you factor in those three storms, they were so short-lived and so weak that it puts us in the fourth place for the lowest accumulated cyclone energy levels. So just 16% of normal. So that's pretty significant. So. Yeah, that basically what that's saying is those three storms were so trivial that really we haven't even had any type of tropical systems of concern. Now the latest hurricane update from both NOAA and CSU is still forecasting an additional 15 storms. So what that means is that if you discount November where we rarely have hurricanes, maybe one every other year, we need to have at least eight more hurricanes through the months of September and October. So roughly that would be about a hurricane every week. And I do think that we could get through the rest of the month of August without any activity. Notice how empty the basin is, a weak little disturbance here, unlikely to really show much uh, input. So this year starting out very similar to 1999 where there were only two storms through June and July. And while the season has been very quiet, there is the potential for these storms to really ramp up over the next several months and become a hyperactive season. And maybe this is why those forecasters are still saying, hey, there's a chance where we could get maybe a hurricane every week or multiple storms at once. Because take a look, after August 26, there were 11 named storms in 1999, and four of those were major Category 4 hurricanes, and there was even a Category 4 strong uh, hurricane in November. However, with things being so quiet, hopefully that's not the case. But the Hurricane Center and all those forecasters have been looking at very favorable conditions throughout the basin. But so far, those conditions haven't really stoked those storms. If you want to hear more about this, new, log on to newsforjacks.com and Chief Meteorologist John Gahn sign up for his newsletter where he sheds more light on this quiet season.